So I found in Trials of Mana there are a few different points in the game that are perfect for gaining some early levels. I will not be covering endgame XP farms because it's as simple as running all over and killing all the things in the highest area you're capable of fighting in. But in the beginning of the game a few extra levels can help a lot, especially if your team composition hasn't started to shine yet. This is the case for the magic classes since they shine in the later parts of the game. The first XP farm is actually right outside Cascade Cavern. At this point in the game you may only have one character, and although you could technically farm here with just one character it really isn't worth it because the other characters won't gain that extra experience. So progress the story until you reach Cascade Cavern and your first party member arrives on the scene. A power tip, if you pick Charlotte 3rd for your party, you'll get all three party members in Cascade Cavern, otherwise you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Regardless of how many members you have, just outside the cave near the goddess statue is where the first XP farm is located. Just battle everything in this small area here in Rabbit Forest and work your way back to the goddess statue. Rinse, repeat. This is the earliest XP farm that makes sense since you could heal from the goddess statue between rotations. The second XP farm is a little bit further. Right after you get your third party member in Jad's stronghold, you will enter this area full of doggos. These little guys give a lot of XP for the current area in the game. I found that the XP I was getting here matched the XP I received from the next four areas, so I suggest leveling up to 10 here. Feel free to go even longer, but just remember that each level requires more XP, so it isn't always going to be worth it to stay too long. You run into each of the rooms, and once you finish the rotation, head back down to the basement where the goddess statue is. By the time you go back up, 75% of the spawn should be available. Rinse repeat until desired level. The final low level XP farm is in Valsena. Your objective in the story is to hurry to the Hero King. I suggest you take your time because this XP farm is begging to be exploited. Not only is the XP here pretty good, but there are a lot of low health mages to kill, allowing even weaker parties to take advantage of fast kills. Not only that, but much like the other two areas, there are no flyers to speak of. This XP farm is amazing because you go up one flight of stairs, kill everything in your path, do the big fight in the center court, go back up the other flight of stairs which leads you back to the goddess statue, heal, and continue your rotation. This is a great place to make sure your entire party is above level 18, so when you've reached the class upgrade part in the story, you'll be high enough to do it right away. I do have one last farm, but it's going to be in tomorrow's video, since it's going to be a seed farm. No worries, if these XP farms are still relevant to you, that means you haven't reached tomorrow's area yet. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out.